please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. All right, India and the United States is set for a crucial face-to-face -face talks on the 6th of September. This summit will take stock of the defense and strategic partnerships between both the nations. The meeting, was, which was supposed to happen in July and was postponed due to the U.S. and North Korea talks, just yesterday, a top Pentagon official had warned India over buying defense equipment from Russia. Parikshit Lutra is here with more. Parikshit, take us through the agenda for this crucial meet and what this means for both the nations. All eyes on the 6th of September when India and US will hold the 2 plus 2 dialogue. This will be the highest level engagement ever since Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Washington DC to meet Donald Trump. What's on the table? You'll have James Mattis, who is the Secretary of Defense. You'll have Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State for the United States. They will be here on the 6th of September and they will be meeting Sushma Swaraj and Nirmala Sitaraman. They will have one-on-one -on -one meetings. You'll have James Mattis meeting Nirmala Sitaraman, Mike Pompeo calling on Sushma Swaraj. All four of them will meet the Prime Minister as well. There will be a press briefing at the end of the day. They may take a few questions from the media as well. A joint statement at the end of the dialogue, which will guide Indo-US relations in the months to come. Let's move on and let's uh, see what's on the agenda. Defense and strategic partnership between India and US, that will form a major component of the talks. Trade will figure very prominently. U.S. sanctions on Iran and Russia will be discussed as well. Discussions on Afghanistan, Iran, Pakistan, on China, Middle East. And this will be an important one for India, whether Donald Trump will come for Republic Day in 2019. What are the key deliverables? Number one, communications, compatibility and security agreement. This is an important one. Both India and U.S. have been negotiating this for the last few weeks. And this will allow transfer of communication security equipment and will improve the interoperability of our two forces. Remember, we import a lot of defense material and equipment from the United States. And the Comcasa will allow optimum utilization of that. We could also see a hotline being set up for uh, the Defense Minister of India and the Secretary of Defense of the United States. A liaison officer could be appointed in Bahrain, where U.S., remember, has a very important naval base. Let's uh, look at what U.S. really wants from the 2 plus 2. They would like to judge the level of commitment of India to the partnership with the United States. They would like to see a foreign policy approach towards countries like China, where uh, there is a trade rivalry going on right now. Let's uh, move on. U.S. would also like to see what is the extent to which we can reduce our uh, ties with Iran, reduce our oil dependency on Iran as well. Then they would like to see where our relationship with Russia is going, whether S-400 is the last defense system to be imported from Russia, and whether we can reduce our dependence on Russia as well. What does India really want? India would want a waiver for uh, import of crucial defense equipment from Russia, waiver for the import of Iranian oil ahead of U.S. sanctions, which kick in on the 4th of November, waiver from uh, U.S. steel and aluminum tariffs, tough approach to park sponsor terror, and finally, we would really hope that Donald Trump visits India in this tenure of the government and he comes on Republic Day 2019. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot for that, Parikshit. With that, we'll sip in a short break.